tonight, around the world. Film theaters in London, England. Cinema Casa in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Movie temples in Tokyo, Japan. Flicker palaces in Sydney, Australia. Picture piazzas in Rome, Italy. Le Cinéatique in Paris, France. And along the Great White Way of New York, New York. Everywhere, theater marquees glitter. The names of people now gathering in the music center of Los Angeles County. For the 55th Annual Academy Awards. Revlon, the people who help make the world a little more beautiful. And GE. At GE, we bring good things to life. And the Coca-Cola Company and your local Coca-Cola bottler. For big refreshment, Coke is it. And Polaroid, makers of the unique light-mixing sun cameras and 600 high-speed film. This is the plaza of the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, where the public and the press cheer the arriving nominees and participants at this year's ceremonies. Including Walter Matthau, one of the four distinguished hosts on tonight's show. Superman himself, Mr. Christopher Reeve. Charles Durning, nominated as Best Supporting Actor. Margot Kidder, one of Hollywood's busiest actresses. Ben Kingsley, up for a Best Actor award for his role as Gandhi. Jamie Lee Curtis, among the loveliest of tonight's presenters. Robert Preston, Best Supporting Actor nominee for Victor Victoria. Steve Gutenberg, star of Diner, also a presenter tonight. Sir Richard Attenborough, a candidate for Best Director. Heartthrob Tom Selleck and hilarious Carol Burnett. Each will play the role of presenter tonight. Jessica Lange, a nominee as both Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress. Young Matt Dillon, star of The Outsider. The beauteous Raquel Welch, who will grace our stage as a presenter tonight. Another of tonight's scheduled presenters, talented Eddie Murphy. Best Supporting Actress nominee, Terry Garr. Mr. James Mason, nominated as Best Supporting Actor for the verdict. Here's Leslie Ann Warren, nominated in the Best Supporting Actress category. Nominated as Best Supporting Actor, Louis Gossett Jr., and a presenter during tonight's festivities, Chair. You will join these and others in the theater as the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences presents the 55th Annual Academy Awards. The Academy Award Orchestra, under the direction of composer-conductor Bill Conti. And now, here are Liza Minnelli, Dudley Moore, Richard Pryor, and Walter Matthau. Billions of stars in the galaxy, sparkling and twinkling away. 
and thousands of stars here in Hollywood who work in the movies each day. There are hundreds of stars in the hall tonight who've earned our respect and praise. But just a few we'll have when we're through an Oscar to brighten their day. of craftsmen and women too loaded with technical skills <coughs> to all do their part for the state of the art and the uh, summer summer time uh, yeah. <laughs> of the 417 films they made there was many a worthy try but few After the posters, the press, the promotion, the pain and the panic, the love and devotion. After the laughter, the cheers, the elation, that greets the announcement of one nomination. In this Tuxes and cummerbunds waiting for people to wear. And 500 hairdressers flying around, blow drying everyone's hair. <laughs> there were 300 chokers and limbs too, lined up outside in the road. Wow. The press, the promotion, the pain and the panic, the love and devotion. After the laughter, the tears, the elation, the greasing announcement of one's nomination. After the trip, the arrival, the seating, the speech is prepared and the house loudly beating. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, writer-producer, Faye Kanan. Good evening and welcome. A few weeks ago, I ran across a newspaper account of the first Academy Awards in 1929 a quiet little dinner for about 200 people at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. The awardees had been announced three months before, all the honored movies were silence, and the statuettes were handed out by Academy President Doug Fairbanks in the whirlwind time of four minutes, 22 seconds. <laughs> well, we're gonna be a bit longer tonight. And the quiet family dinner has become an event watched by over 300 million people around the world. But one thing hasn't changed. The Oscars are still given to movie makers by movie makers, a recognition that being good at what you do and taking pride in it 
is something to be proud of in a world that sometimes forgets to value that above fame or money. Each of our nominees has helped to put on the screen something special that speaks to people, moves them, delights them in the unique way that only movies can. Just how unique was brought home to me recently when we visited the house in Amsterdam where Anne Frank and her family had lived. We climbed up into those attic rooms that contained the lives of eight human beings for two years. Everything was intact, and I noticed pinned up on the wall of Anne's room some faded newspaper clippings. When I went closer, I saw that they were pictures of her favorite movie stars. I don't think I understood till that moment what a powerful role movies can play in people's lives, and that part of what had kept joy and hope alive in that young spirit were memories of the movies she had seen. That makes me doubly proud of this evening, of the films and the talented people that we're about to honor, and most particularly, of this remarkable 20th century art form in which we who make the movies and you who watch them are so affectionately joined. Thank you. The four very engaging people who opened our show in song are going to return as our host for the evening. And to guide us through the first awards, we have a wonderful actress who took her own Oscar home with her, Liza Minnelli. Thank you. My goodness, this is a very up night. And if you think it's exciting here, you should see what's going on backstage. Richard Dudley and Walter are still rehearsing our opening number. They, yeah, they felt they, they sounded too much like the Beach Boys. Yeah. Anyway, it's Oscar time. And it all does come down to this. The night that separates the men from the boys, the women from the girls, the clients from the agents. <laughs> anyway, as you know, custom dictates that we explain the voting procedures. So here to read the rules, here is Mr. John Mashita. Thank you, Ms. Minnelli. The voting procedures work like this. All active Academy members may vote on nominations for the five pictures of the year or the nominations made by members of each Academy branch. For example, writers nominate writers, students of the year, actors nominate actors, directors nominate directors, etc. Later all members send in those uh, nominations to select the final awards. After they have signed in the final awards, they send their secret ballots or send to the Academy's independent accountants, Price Waterhouse of Tabulation. Foreign language documentary, short films, makeup, sound effect editing, and visual effects are the only exception. Only members who attend comprehensive special screenings may vote for them. Results are known only to Price Waterhouse until the sealed envelopes are opened here tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, during the next commercial break, John will read us War and Peace. No. Anyway, <laughs> the Academy thanks the representatives of Pricewaterhouse. And here to, to, well, to introduce you to the men who guard our destiny are the strong and silent Frank Johnson and Steve Kaplan. Thank you. 